Hello everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review and today we're going to be reviewing a really really cool 2023 Diecast that's been released from this past season. It's going to be on Ty Dillon's number 77 Ferris Motors Chevrolet Camaro for Spire Motorsports. Yes, that's Spire Motorsports, the same team that collabed with Michael Andretti with the Gainbridge sponsorship. Looking like to be a future star team in the making which if you were to told me that's like three years ago i would have said you're insane because when spire motorsports first started off they were a back marker team and they still technically are but this year 2024 is supposed to be the breakout year for this team because um the 77 car in particular is now being driven by carson hosevar but going back to what i was saying um the 77 car before that was a back marker car all along because it had drivers like, I don't know, uh, Josh Balicki. It had Garrett Smithley, Reed Sorensen, all these names. Landon Castle, too, was even in it. All these names, all these drivers, even hell, even Justin Haley was in this car a few years back uh, until Ty Dillon gave the team their first full-time season and and expected how this car would perform it's uh, the car um or the driver and team finished like last in points or second to last i don't remember but i'm surprised we even got a die cast from ty dillon this year i thought this car would have for sure dmp'd but thank god it didn't anyways let's get on with the die cast review you go to the front end of the car you go to the windshield and i love to see that gold chevrolet bow tie again that's so awesome you got also the the hood vent or the window vent right there Really realistic and cool. You got Ty Dillon's name right there. Ferris with the F in red and white. Looks really cool. And with a red background, you got the hood vents. Go to the front of the car. Uh, you got the Chevrolet bow tie, ZL1. You got the headlights, number 77. Spire Motorsports. You got the grill. Looks really sharp. Sunoco. You go right here. You got Goodyear right there. You got the silver rims. NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75th Anniversary, number 77. I love this texture in the background. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a gray texture in the background of the background of the gray paint scheme. Looks really, really sharp. You got Ty Dillon's name on the name rail. You got Ferris again right here. And as there's the B-Pillar sponsors we're going to look at, um, you got Chevrolet right here. Um something i don't know what that says f f c e i think that's what it is or f c c e the same spot to that one with justin haley you got ray's energy drink that's that's cool to see another energy drink sponsor on a 164 um what does it say right here i know they had multiple sponsors from this past year yeah i cannot i cannot understand what that says but also with ty Dillon's name there's like the bull and the Instagram logo. And also here's sponsors down here. You got um you got Circle B Diecast right there. Um Wix air filter. Um something something. I don't know, like mechanics where you got there as well. Butch, as you can see right here. Um Sharon Williams, I believe that's what it says. What's this logo saying right here? Man, I cannot read that. It's just too tiny. <laughs> but either way, you got respect right there. And what I find funny is they, they completely redesigned the KBM shop and they like cut part of like the championship winning truck off and and then that's how they ended off the video with and it said respect. <laughs> Oh, Spire, you're so savage for that, dude. Wow. Man, that's that's funny, though. Know. Not to the KBM fans, but that is pretty funny. You got the American Ethanol ring right there. There should be a Nation's Guard logo right there. And for some reason, like, I remember, remember seeing this a couple years ago. Nation's Guard was actually with Hendrick Motorsports and Kyle Larson, but for some strange reason, they went to Spire. I don't know what they were expecting, but Larson damn near win a couple, won a couple of races with them, but just came up short. But there should be a Nation's Guard logo right there. Anyways, let's go to the other side of the car. Um, basically the same thing as on the other side. And you got, you know, the exhaust pipe right there as on the other side. 
go to the back end of the car. You got the spoiler pivots, looks really cool. The Chevrolet bow tie right there. The tail lights, Ferris motors. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. What does it say? Ferris commercial motors. Okay. Got Spire Motorsports number seventy-seven ZL1 Camaro. You got the you got um the 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 axle or the exhaust pipe or I don't know like side exhaust fuel the ex I don't know I don't remember like that's I I know the, the the normal NASCAR fans are like scratching their head they're just pounding their heads against the wall but I remember but I just cannot think of it if that makes any sense but you go to the back end the deck lid of the car you got Ferris commercial motors Ty Dillon's name right there I love how there's it, there's a the, the brackets or the detail on the back windshield like it is on it is on the real car it looks really awesome you got Ferris right there number 77 right there as well and there's the underside of the car if you want to see that and of course of course we got to show there's you know the detail to the window it looks really cool front windshield but here's the interior of the car you got the steering wheel the seat the batteries the roll cage all that good stuff for the car looks really awesome now ty dylan actually had a good couple runs in this car like um i can name a couple when he drove this certain paint scheme at the bristol dirt he actually was up inside the top five and top 10 for most of the race until he fell back and finished i believe in just barely inside the top 20 the next time i saw him perform really well in this car was the 2023 fall talladega race where he actually led laps and was running in like second or third behind like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Ty Dillon was having a really good race that race. And and now he's now back in the truck series. Like there was reports that he's going to drive for colleague full time. But of course they didn't sign him. They, they decided just to make the car part time again. Not part time but full run of the whole races. But a mixture of drivers. When <clears throat> they have the 13 car that they basically got from Jermaine Racing. Yeah they. Oh my goodness. That's, that's so stupid. They could have used the. The, the field fixer car with that the field like mixer car with that the driver mixed up mixer car with that number instead but instead you know they chose 16 i don't know why but ty dillon's now back down on the truck series which i think is a good move he's driving for a um mediocre truck team um rackley war like they're not the best like they made the playoffs or not playoffs chase this this past year with matt to better dead on even won a race but Outside of Matt, outside of Matt to Benedetto, that team has come nowhere close to being consistent as they once were. So I'm optimistic about what Ty Dillon can do. Like this is, I believe, his best opportunity, and like, and like almost this is his best opportunity, and at least almost ha in half a decade, at least, because next year will be ten years since this year will be ten years since Ty Dillon last won a Cup race, not a Cup race, last won a NASCAR race, being the 2014 Indy. Xfinity race or nationwide race. Yeah, I know it's been that long. Hopefully, Ty, hopefully Ty Dillon can return to victory lane soon. I like Ty a lot. He's a great driver. I know he has it. I know that's all bold take. I know he's a good driver. He was able to show with Jermaine Racing. He just got unlucky with Gunt Brothers Racing and Petty GMS and of course Spire Moore Sports. His best season all year long was 11th, even though he should have gotten a top 10. If I say so myself, he really deserved that top 10. But some stupid stuff happened. Like I think he was gonna get a top ten until a late crash with Ryan Ryan Priest flipping over, spinning and crashing just like with Chase Briscoe, although Briscoe didn't flip over. But you get what I mean. Anyways, one more good look at the car. The the I think the red's a little supposed to be a little bit brighter than it should be. Like I remember seeing the car in the red popped. It kind of looks dull here, but regardless, I'm still happy to have this car. Really awesome paint scheme. And just I'm really glad that I got this car in my collection. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this NASCAR diecast review of Ty Dillon's um, 2023 uh, Ferris Motors uh, Chevrolet Camaro for Spire Motorsports, make sure to give this video a comment, like, subscribe, turn notification bell. What do you like the most about this car? And I still got to collect Josh Balicki's car from last year. I still haven't yet. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I just got busy with collecting other stuff for some reason. But anyways, thanks you. thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video, y'all. Peace out.